Hi everyone and welcome back to Akshata's recipes. Thank you so much for being here today. So today's recipes are some re some of my real favorite recipes. So this is masale bhat and tomato sar and both these recipes have been shared by my sister-in-law Netra Zoshi. Thank you so much Netra. These recipes were so so delicious that it's going to be one of my you know or I have like my top 10 recipes that I love and this is among them. It's super simple to make like you'll see in the recipe in the video and you'll want to make it all the time. It's super delicious. It's like you know when you go for the typical Maharashtrian weddings the masale bhat that they serve there. This is exactly the same taste. So without much further ado let's jump into the recipe and meet me at the end of the video for a few tips here and there. So this is masale bhat or even tonli bhat or tonli rice or tenli rice. So let's start with the recipe and we'll catch up after the recipe. So friends, let's see today's lovely recipe of masale bath and tomato sar. Now here I have 50 grams of tenli or tonli. I washed it really well and I'm going to cut off the edges. Once all the edges are cut off, we're going to slice it really thin in this manner. Like this. This is a closer look. So you first cut it into half and then cut each half into threes or fours. So this is the tonli all prepped up. Now we are also going to be requiring about 10 to 12 cashew nuts. This is 2 teaspoons of goda masala or kala masala. 5 to 7 fresh curry leaves. 1 teaspoon each of sugar and 1 teaspoon of jaggery or jaggery or gool. 1 4 teaspoon of mustard seeds or mohori or rye. And 1 4 teaspoon of, uh, of uh, turmeric powder or haldi powder. Now here I have taken half a cup of basmati rice, washed it really well and soaked it in 1 cup of water for about 10 minutes. Now we are also going to be requiring 2 teaspoons of cumin seeds or jeera, 2 teaspoons of coriander seeds or dhania, 4 dried red chilies, half an inch of cinnamon or dalchini, 5 cloves and 5 peppercorns that is miri as well as lavang. Now what we're going to do is we're going to dry roast all of these dry spices for at least a whole minute till you get the lovely aroma and once they come to room temperature you're going to grind them in a mixer to a very coarse powder. Then we're going to add half a cup of fresh coriander leaves and again grind this and you get this beautiful masala or mixture to set that aside. Now here I've drained the water from the rice. And I've also kept two cups of water to boil. Now heat a pan and add two teaspoons of oil. Once the oil is nice and hot, you're going to add the mustard seeds. Let them splutter or pop. Once they begin to splutter, you're going to add the haldi powder. Then we're going to add the tonli or the tenli and really fry it for at least a whole minute. Fry it really well in this flavoured oil. Next we are going to be adding the curry leaves and we are going to fry the curry leaves also in this oil. Next we are going to add the cashew nuts and fry the cashew nuts in the oil as well. Now I've drained all the water from the rice like I showed you. So now I'm going to add this basmati rice. It's best to use basmati rice for masale bath. It just, you know, elevates it to another level and it tastes really good with uh, basmati rice. And now fry the rice also for at least half a minute in this oil. This is also very important. Fry it really, really well. 
and now the water as you can see is started to boil now add this hot water to the rice see that it spreads out evenly all over the rice and be extremely careful because this is hot boiling water and ensure that all the grains that you see at the side of the pan also go into the water and then just give it a gentle stir mix everything well together and now we're going to add this ground powder or ground uh, paste that we made with all the uh, roasted spices and the coriander leaves this is what gives the masale bath its true uh, you know flavor as well as the aroma so get all that goodness in mix everything well once you add this you can already you know uh, get the lovely aroma of the masale bath it doesn't take much time it now another nine, another 5 to 7 minutes the masale bath is going to be ready now we're going to add the goda or the kara masala i will leave a link to how i make it at home and you can also use the ready made masala that's available now we're going to add some salt to taste so this is a quarter teaspoon that i'm using so i've in total used around 1 teaspoon but you can adjust it as per taste then we're going to add the sugar and the jaggery or the gur or the jag jaggery mix everything really well together and now all we have to do is just cover and cook this for about 5 minutes till all the water dries up so you can keep an eye on it and just check it and your masale bath is all ready so when serving this just drizzle some lovely sarsuk toop or um, clarified butter or ghee and also some grated coconut fresh coconut as well as some finely chopped coriander leaves and you're all set and now for the tomato sar i leave instructions of how i prepare the tomato puree at home but you can also use ready made tomato puree uh, this is about uh, 100 grams of tomato puree or four medium tomatoes i've just added salt and sugar to it and i'm going to get it to a gentle boil once it begins to boil i'm going to add half a cup of coconut milk let the mixture uh, you know mix everything well and let it come to a nice gentle boil for about 3 minutes and then turn it off and here i have taken 4 teaspoons of ghee to which i'm going to add half a teaspoon of cumin seeds and one small green chili cut fine so this is the tempering we're going to add this fodni or tadka or tempering to our sar and that's it it's as simple as that so i leave instructions of how i uh, prepared the uh, tomato puree at home or you can watch the video till the end because i've told uh, you know mentioned it at the end of the video as to how i've prepared the tomato puree so i hope you give these two recipes a try friends didn't it look really delicious i loved it my family loved it and it goes just super 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 it's just like a you know a marriage in heaven when you put tomato sar and masale bath together So now for a few tips to get the recipe perfect. So first of all, I'm using tonli. I've just used about fifty uh, grams of tonli. If you're making a larger quantity, always double everything that is mentioned in the recipe, the quantity. Now you have to slice the tonli really, really thin. Take off the tips and slice them really, really thin. And you've got to fry the uh, tonli a little bit also well, so it becomes a little bit crunchy and remains, you know, a little soft too. Now you can also add other vegetables. You can add a uh, thinly sliced potato. You can add matar or green peas. You can add green watani, which is the dried watani. The green watani you just have to soak it for about say an hour or so, and then uh, you know uh, add it to this recipe. But see that it's cooked really, really well. Or you can boil it separately till it's nicely cooked, and then add it to the masala bhat. So. Uh, This is the recipe. Also, like Neetra said, you can make this vatan or this, uh, gra you know, the paste, the coarse paste, and keep it in your refrigerator. So that makes work even more easier. Now, for the tomato sar, uh, what I did is I took four medium-sized tomatoes, washed them really well, and then I put them into my pressure pan, uh, you know, into a smaller vessel with water in it, and then I cooked it for one whistle on high 
and simmer it for 5 minutes. Let the pressure pan cool completely before I opened it. Then I let the tomatoes cool completely. Then I just took off the peel, cut off the edges, edges and then I just put them into my blender or mixer jar, made it into a very fine puree and then ran it through a sieve or a sift so that to get rid of all the seeds, the pips and you know all the extra stuff. So you get this very smooth kind of, uh, you know, uh, puree. So that's it guys. And of course, if you don't want to go through the cumbersome process of making the tomato uh, puree, you can always use ready-made puree, but there's really a different taste for fresh tomato puree. So these are a few tips about the recipe. I hope you do give this recipe a try. If you've never tasted masale bhat or tonli bhat and tomato sada, then I suggest that you make it. It's amazing. Now for goda masala, I will leave a link of how I prepare my goda masala at home. It's my mother-in-law's recipe and it's super simple. And I always make a big batch of it and keep it uh, at hand. Otherwise, you can also use the ready-made one. Most of the general stores have it as goda masala or kala masala. And this adds also a beautiful flavor to the dish. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Do go and check out all my other recipes on my channel. Thank you so much for watching my videos and supporting Akshita's recipes. It's the same. And uh, do share my recipes with family and friends. And I'll catch you soon, sooner than you think, in my next video with another recipe or a vlog. This is Akshita signing off. Take care, guys. Be kind to one another. And I'll see you soon.